Once you have set up your project and you've built it and you'd like to run the firmware onto the Arduino board, it is now time to start coding. The particular sketch that we chose, that we designed here, is actually one of the example codes. What we've done is created an LED as an output and we've created a pull down resistor so that our button when we press it goes high uh, and is normally low. So to program this we're actually we can look in the examples and go to digital and go to button and now when we scroll through the comments at the top I'm going to erase those to make this video easier. We can look at what has been set up for us. Again, these comments are just if you have different types of boards. On our particular board, we use pin 13 and we put in pin 2 as our input. So everything checks out here. Remember, our integer is a whole number so that we're telling it to be the number 2. We could call this anything else, but it needs to be consistent throughout here. Our LED pin is now a whole number. It's 13. Okay. So as we move down, we also are setting a number for the state of the button. So when we start our Arduino, we want it to be in a certain position. We can tell it to be high or low once it starts. So we're going to say, let's start it at zero. And now we know that we're going to call something button state as we move on. So when it's high, the button state will change to one when it's low it's zero. Our void setup is always going to be where we set our pins and any initial functions that we need to occur as the Arduino starts. But for now we're just going to set our pins using the pin mode. LED pin which we've determined was pin 13 and we're telling it it's an output so that's the light and it must be an output something is occurring. Now we also have the same command pin mode telling it what pin button pin which is pin 2 and we're setting it as an input when we push the button we want the Arduino to read that as something okay our loop is going to be our step-by-step -step instructions for the Arduino we're going to set the button state which we initially had as 0 here we're going to set the button state as digital read meaning it's going to read high or low 0 or 1 and we want it to read the button pin which was pin 2 then we're just going to create a simple if else statement if the button is high so when we push the button turn the LED on so digital right meaning turn it on or turn it off in this particular instance LED pin pin 13 make it high. For all other conditions let's turn the LED off so digital right pin low uh, LED pin low. Okay and that's the entirety of our function when I push the button it reads the button state and then it turns it on or off depending on whether it's high or low. That's the basis of our function. So what we're going to do is uh, write another version of this and I'll talk through it as we sort of um, move together. Okay, and I will leave the example up here so that you have an idea of where we're going as we start building this. So start by writing your variables and these can be regular integers and I'm going to name these different so you can kind of get a feel for writing your own variables. And I'm going to call this input and button and I'm going to put that on pin 2. Again, I'm going to write another integer because I'm just calling a pin. A pin has to be a, a whole number and we'll call this LED pin. I like that. And that's pin 13, which we chose in our fritzing diagram, pin 13. Okay. So the next thing that we want to make sure we input is the state of the button. So right away it's going to be high or low. So since we're dealing with digital we're going to call this uh, input state. You can call this whatever you want but make sure you can understand it 
later and we'll say zero. Okay, now we can work on our setup. If we look over, we have our pin mode. The pin mode is going to make sure that we tell the pin what it's doing, input or output. So in this case, I'm going to do my input button. And I'm going to tell it to be an uh, input. OK, in case matters. Our next line, again, we're describing the LED pin as an output. It's doing something. Okay, that is the entirety of our void setup. So now our void loop is going to be our program. So just like the previous one, we set our input state to be something and we can use the digital read so it's going to read a zero or a one and it's going to know like where is it reading that so we want to read that off of the button pin that's our input then from there we're going to create this if else statement if this thing happens do this else do something else Okay, so by just writing if, and now we write the condition, so our input button equals high. So if the condition is high, now do something in between here. Digital write, as we learned from our simple blink sketch, which pin, our LED pin, and turn that guy on. Okay, now we can curly bracket that, and that's the only thing that's going to occur if the button state is high. Now we want to make sure that we include our off position. So even without the else statement, we can just write digital write LED pin low. Okay, and I'm getting, I'm not including the else statement because in this particular instance it's not necessary. This is the minimum code you need to get started right here. So this should be everything that you need to push the button and turn it high or low and you can mess with the values. Don't forget to check your port and then upload to the right board and compile your sketch to check to make sure it works.